What's up travelers? In this video, we're in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, and I just wanted to show you this hotel room. It's about $30 a night, so let's go check it out. All right, so we're gonna go into the bathroom first. Woohoo! So we got toiletry stuff. Nice little shower. Ooh, it's even got a bathtub. <laughs> okay, so then, and then this is, it's on the door. Nice Islamic theme. Cool little, cool little door handle here. And then the room does not have a whole lot of light in it. There's the bed, looks nice and comfortable. Nice little desk. Came with a nice bottle of water and I think this is a fruit basket. Let's check it out. Ooh. Looks like some amazing fruit basket. <laughs> All right, we got some art on the wall, a chair, table. A little couch there and then beyond there's supposed to be a pool view and then here's a door out to a balcony but I haven't been able to figure out how to open this door yet but I think there's a little bit of the pool out there um, but yeah Seems like a pretty cool place. Hey, what's up, travelers? I want to let you guys know that I published a coloring book. Uh, it's based off of photographs that I took while I was in Egypt during this series. I put a whole lot of work into it. Check out these photos, uh, some of the pages there. Again, I put a lot of work into it. There is a link down in the description to where you can go pick one up. I hope you do. It was a lot of fun making it. it wasn't so much fun publishing it. <laughs> it's a really kind of a pain, but I went through it and I got it published and hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, check it out. So yeah, so I'm I'm here in Sharm El Sheikh for a few days. Uh, when I left Alexandria uh, at the airport, I got a little bit upset with the with the security people there at the airport because, well, they decided that they needed to <laughs> uh, go through my luggage and touch every single thing in my luggage, all because I had a little tourist souvenir statue of the pharaoh Akhenaten and uh, <laughs> just a, like a little bust you could tell it wasn't like the real deal like you could tell it was made probably a week ago uh, <laughs> but yeah they went through it and then I had a little like three ounce bottle of hand sanitizer during a pandemic Apparently, you're not allowed to have hand sanitizer on airplanes in Egypt, so that's kind of stupid. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that just a little rant because I'm a little pissed off about it still. I will get some more footage outside when the daylight here, and I'll show you around the hotel a bit. But yeah, this is going to be a great a great place because there's two hard rock cafes here that we get to go check out. And uh, I'm really excited for that. So, awesome. Jesus. Hello, mortals. It's me, your favorite Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I just wanted to take a short break from my very, very busy schedule of, uh, well, you know, miracles and uh, other Jesus duties up here to have a little divine intervention with you. You see, I wanted to tell you about a glorious YouTube channel called Tasting Travel. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you could trust me. I am like the most reputable person, well, ever. So, there's that. 
So be sure to give them a like and subscribe. And also, ring that notification bell so an angel can get its wings. Now, I'd love to stick around and rain down blessings, but I'm kind of like the busiest messiah ever. And I need to get back to these mansions because they're definitely not going to build themselves. So you stay blessed and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amen. Jesus. The owner and the staff of this place were absolutely amazing. My only problem with this place was the mosquitoes were absolutely unbearable. They sprayed two times while I was there and they were still just eating me alive. So my overall for this place, the Charm Inn, would be, it's definitely worth the money, but definitely bring some deet and spray yourself down so you don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes.